Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to continue our discussion on arrays, but I'll be sharing to you multidimensional arrays. In C++, multidimensional arrays are arrays of arrays, okay? One example of which is we have a two-dimensional array or 2D array that represents a table with rows and columns. The general syntax in declaring a two-dimensional array is that we have here the data type followed by the array name and then two square brackets with the first one representing the rows, the second one representing the columns. So example, we have here int high scores, three uh, rows and five columns. The total number of elements, elements that this particular array can hold is 15. So you just multiply the rows and columns. That's the total num number of elements that this particular array can hold, okay? Now, in this example, it will be a two-part example we're in. First, we're going to, first, we're going to create a two-dim array. Second, okay, two-dim array. Then second is we're going to create or uh, identify if the array is a square matrix array square matrix array okay so by the way i have the definition here of a square matrix array in mathematics a square matrix is a matrix in which it has the same number of rows and columns okay now uh, if we have the same number of rows and columns we could say that that is a square matrix otherwise it's not a square matrix okay so let's first create a two-dimensional array and identify if that is a square matrix or not okay let's start our code here let me delete this line and start with our coding first thing that we have to do same as what we had before is we need to declare several variables so i'm going to use here um, i and j okay i and j here will be used for our loop since we're going to have rows and columns so in multi-dimensional array especially in two-dimensional array we have to we will be having two items here one uh, uh, two loops one for the row and the other one for the column okay okay so we have here our variables then we need also two variables here, which is M and N, which will represent our uh, order of matrix. Okay. Next is we're going to have our array. Okay. Then let's have it a 10 by 10 array. So this is our array. And then the total number of elements is around 100 elements, okay, that this particular array can hold. Now, let's start. Uh, let's prompt the user to enter, enter the order of matrix. Okay. So, here, C in M. C in N. Okay, so this will be our order of matrix. Next is we're going to have our input here. Ah, oh, wait, wait, let's prompt the user first. C out, enter, okay, enter M by by N matrix. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's next? Let's have it here. Let's have some space there. Now let's have our input. Um, like I mentioned earlier, there will be two loops here. The first loop will be for our row. The second loop will be for our column. By the way, let me uh, go to this site. This is an example of a matrix, okay? This is an example of a matrix. We have rows and then columns here. So this is a one by one, 
2 by 2 and then 3 by 3 rows and columns. So we have here 2 rows and then 2 columns, 3 rows and then 3 columns here. By the way, if you have equal number of rows and columns, we call that as a square matrix. Okay, let's go back to our code. Now, let's have our input. To do that, let's start now to represent the array. This will be row 1, column 1, row 2, column, uh, row 1, column 2, row 2, column 1, and then row 2, column 2. Okay? Now, we'll be having here uh, a loop for i is equals to 1. I'll, I'll start with 1 this time. Okay? Then i less than or equal to m, then i plus plus. This will take care of our row. Second is, let's have our column. So for j is equals to 1, j less than or equal to n, then j plus plus. Then let's have our array here, input array c in our array. And then the first will be for our row. And the second will be for our column, and that's it, okay? Then let's display now our given array. To do that, let's, let's say have it's like output uh, array here, or matrix. Okay, let's show first our matrix. For i is equals to 1, i less than or equal to m, then i plus plus. Next is we're going to have here for j, for j is equal to 1, j less than or equal to n, then j plus plus. Then we're going to print out our array. So c out, our, uh, let's have some spaces, okay? Then our array here. First will be our i, then this will be our j. Okay, then we need to have here, okay, yeah, okay, this one here. Next, okay, so let's run the code first so, so that we'll be able to visualize what we're doing. Let's so run this one here. Okay, so we need to enter the order of matrix. So let's say we enter two by two, meaning that we will be entering four elements here. Enter order of matrix one, two, three, and then four. Enter. Okay, so what happened here? Uh -huh. Oh, let's check our code again. Uh -huh. There, let's try this one supposed to be J okay well that's a matrix Keanu Reeves this is your matrix <laughs> let's try it again okay order of matrix uh, two three by three so total number of elements that we're going to input is nine one two three four five six seven eight nine oh there so we have here our matrix. Now, in our matrix now, so this will be row 1, column 1, row 1, column 2, row 1, column 3, row 2, column 1, row 2, column 2, row 2, column 3, row 3, column 1, row 3, column 2, and then row 3, column 3. Okay, so we have displayed our matrix. The next thing to do is that, we have to identify whether the input value is a square matrix or not. Okay. Then, to determine a square matrix, first thing that we have to do is that our rows and columns must be equal. Okay? Must be equal. Okay? So, that's the first thing that we have to uh, have. Rows and columns must be equal here. Okay, then we have if, we have with us if m is exactly equal to n, okay, what we're going to do here is, 
we will have this as our we will print the matrix again uh, we will not print rather we will uh, scan the matrix and get the sum of the numbers so this is what we're going to do what I, why i'm getting the sum in a square matrix we need to get here the sum of the diagonal numbers so for example 4 and 10 is 14 you can aside from having the same m and n column or rows and column a square matrix we could also get the sum of the numbers here to get the sum of the numbers example this one here the sum is 14 you have to make sure that if you look at diagonally, this is row 1, column 1. This is row 2, column 2. So the rows and columns must also be equal. Okay? So we go back here. Let's scan our... Otherwise, let's finish this one. Else, okay, else, if the rows and columns are not equal, we could say that, see out, are not a square matrix okay this is not a square matrix now let's go back here if we get the sum of the diagonal values sum of diagonal diagonal values here by diagonal numbers then we could say that that is a trace uh, matrix okay now we get the sum now first thing that we have to do is to scan again our rows and columns to do that we have to create here a loop for i is equals to 1 i less than or equal to m then i plus plus okay next is this is for our row next is we need to scan also create a loop for our column for j is equals to 1 j is less than or equal to n then j plus plus okay so this will be our columns now again let's go back to this side so in order for us to have the trace matrix the rows here and column must be equal so this one here number four is located at row one column one row one column two row two column one and row 2, column 2. So, 1, 1, 2, 2. So, in a 3 by 3 matrix, we will get the trace matrix if this is row 1, column 1, row 2, column 2, and row 3, column 3. Okay? This is the diagonal value. Okay? Now, so, if, so, this is to scan. This is for our loop. The next thing here is, if i is exactly equal to j, what we're going to do here is we get the sum. So I think I forgot to include another variable here. So let's say integer sum is equals to zero. Zero. This will uh, store the sum of, it's called store the sum. Okay, that's it. So here, what we're going to, if i and j is equal, then we could say sum plus equal our array, then i and j. Okay, so I think, okay, I think we're good here. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out, okay? By the way, let's have... Let's display first this one here. Okay, output. See out. Given matrix is. Okay. This is our given matrix. Okay. Let's run our code again. Oh, okay. We have an error here. Let's try to debug. Uh -huh. What's wrong? Okay, there. Okay, so this is our error, hopefully. Okay. 
Okay, so we have fixed the error. Now again, let's or, uh, print an order of matrix. Let's say um, 3 by 3. Okay, let's simplify this. Okay. So we'll be entering here 9 elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Enter. So we have the given matrix here already. Okay. Now, we did not print. Ah, we did. We forget to print out the sum of the numbers. Okay. So let's display here the sum of the numbers. Now, to get the sum, mm -hmm. okay, let's put it here. See out the sum wait, wait, let's call this the trace matrix is the trace matrix is uh, no, sorry, the trace of the given matrix okay matrix is and then the sum okay by the way the sum of the diagonal matrix called the trace okay not trace matrix we call this trace okay we traced it now so the trace of a given matrix is sum now if you see here we have our matrix already we will need to get the sum of the diagonal values here 1 5 and 9 which the reason why we're getting this is that both i and j the rows and columns are equal so let's run our code again. Uh, 3 by 3, enter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Enter. So we have here the trace of the given matrix is 15. Okay, that's good. Now what if we have a different set of uh, matrix? 2 by, uh, let's say, uh, 2 by 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, enter. So this is not a square matrix, okay? So here's our introduction to multidimensional array. Example is a 2D array here. Okay, so I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.